There we go. OK, so um, as I said, uh, I'm going to talk you through how to do the next bit. So this will be for the area and perimeter of part circles questions on Dr. Frost. But please don't start those until you've finished off the other ones. OK, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to model one question. OK, and then leave you to it. So this one, um, let's see how long our lag is. There we go. So there's there's a little lag, but not too bad. So here we go. We've got a three quarters of a circle here. OK, and let's imagine we've got to work out, first of all, the area and then secondly, the perimeter. So the area is easy. This is just obviously the space inside a the, the what's left of the circle. All right. So your starting point is what are my two formulae for working out circles? So if I want to work out the circumference is pi times diameter. And if I want to work out area it's pi r squared. All right. And the way I've suggested you learn that is cottage pie is delicious apple pies r2 so we've got to work out the area to start with so that's pi r squared now of course the area isn't a whole circle it's three quarters of a circle so you put a three quarters in front of that now this one requires the radius now remember what the radius is that is the radius that bit of light blue or that they are both radiuses okay the radius is the length to the center of the circle so on this occasion, they've given us the radius. It's 10. OK, so your calculation is going to be three quarters times pi times the radius squared. So that's 10 squared or if you like 10 times 10. So then you get your calculator out. OK, three quarters or 0.75 times pi times 10 times 10. And I get 75 pi. Press the SD button. I get 235.619 dot dot dot. Imagine the question said to one decimal place. My final answer would be 235.6. And as it's an area, two dimensional, that would be centimeters squared. Now, the perimeter is a bit more complicated. The perimeter is the length all the way around the outside. OK, so imagine you're starting off running around from the top. So imagine yourself running around from up there. As you run around the side, you do that, you do that um, orange bit. You do that orange curvy bit. You do that bit. OK, you then do that light blue bit back to the middle. Oh, sorry, I've got a brown now. You do that brown bit back to the middle. Then, and then you do that light blue bit running up to the top. OK, so can you all see if you were running around that shape, you do the orange bit, then the brown bit and then the blue bit. And you've got to add those three lengths together. Well, clearly the brown bit is 10 and the blue bit is 10. So let's just go and write those in already. So you've got to include those two lengths if you were running around the building. Now, what about the orange curvy bit? Now, if you were going all the way around the circle, that would be the circumference of the circle. And you would be doing the let you'd be running pi times the diameter because that's the circumference. But you're only running around three quarters of the way around the outside. So it's three quarters pi times D. So that's three quarters times pi. But then be careful. OK, the diameter is the length all the way all the way across the shape, all the way across through the middle. So what is the length of that diameter? Because the radius is 10, the diameter is 20. So that's going to be 3 quarters times pi times 20. OK, D is the diameter. Sorry if you can hear that back to me. So 0 0.75 times pi times 20 gives us 15 pi. Press the button, gives me 47. 0.1238 dot dot dot. I would then go and add up those three numbers. Add up those three numbers there to get the total journey all the way around, and that's going to give me 67.123 dot dot dot. 
So to one decimal place, 67.1, and that's a length. That is, the circumference is a length. So that would be a final answer of 67.1. Okay, so that's it on the new bit. That's all I'm going to do. You might have a half a circle, you might have quarter of a circle, you might have three quarters, but it's all the same principle. And don't forget that brown bit on the blue bit if you're doing the perimeter, okay? You're measuring the length all the way around the shape back to the beginning, not just the curved bit. Fran, you've got a question. For half a circle, would it still be three quarters? No, or it would be half. Quarters? It would be half. Okay. okay. And if it was quarter of a circle, it would be a quarter, okay? So it's, um, yeah, because you're running half the way around the curved bit, or quarter, it's only three quarters, because this particular question has three quarters of a circle. Okay, so so don't just use three quarters all the time. Good question, Fran. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the recording now. I want you please to make sure you start off with the circles area and circumference. Do not start doing the one with part circles, please. Okay, I only want you doing that once you've got 15 out of 15. Okay, thanks guys, off you go.